Personally, I prefer plant turns. Um, I'll use the blover here, though, in place of the cactus. Um, you don't really have to worry about it getting eaten, since it's, it only, it's an animation only lasts, like, one or two seconds. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I still like to use planterns even when I have a blover because planterns will get rid of the fog um, as long as they're around. Okay, take note that there are dolphin rider zombies, which means that you want to have tall nuts up in the water. I mean, I guess any plant would help, but tall nuts help the most, because they can't get past those. Without eating them, that is. Again, note that I'm leaving a row clear for scaredy shrooms. I don't believe that the zombies will ever start out in the pool. They'll always start out in the outer four rows. So those are the rows you want to, to defend first. The music's changing already. That's not good. Where are they? This makes me nervous. Okay, but sounds like they're getting them. Yeah, um, mostly you can play this game without sound if for some reason you have to. But these levels, in these levels, it is recommended that you use sound. Although if you don't have sound, you can just look at what mushrooms, what the mushrooms are doing. Like where they're firing, and where they're not firing. And you can get a reasonably good idea of what's going on then, but like, for example, if you hear the sound of a cone being hit, you'll know that there are conehead zombies. And if you don't, you'll know that either there aren't, or they are all out of range, or in lanes where you don't have any defenses. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so for the next 25 seconds, I'll be able to see what's going on. Then the fog will roll back in. So it begins to roll back in now, but... As you see, it does not roll in on the bottom because I have a, a planter in there. So yeah, planters work in a two square radius rather than a one square radius. Okay, just a little more sun, thank you. By the way, th this music has all been in A minor, except for the, uh, except for the World 3, which was in G minor. You know, just random fact about the music. I believe the last one, the last world, will also have music in A minor. Also, the battle themes for Final Fantasy 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and... Excuse me, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9 were also in A minor. Oh, and 10, too. I doubt many of you care about that, but like I said, just the fact that I find interesting. All right, I hope I'm prepared for this. The Glover recharges quickly, so... 
it is practical for use against balloon zombies. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would help. I, I need to remind myself to replace the puff shrooms before the scaredy shrooms. Because the scaredy shrooms do have the range. I think the blover works even if it's even if the balloon zombies are, are to its left. I'm gonna test that out here, and I hope I'm right. Okay, let's see. Yep. If it's anywhere on the screen, it'll blow off all the balloon zombies. <laughs> it'll blow off all the balloon zombies. It doesn't care about the balloon zombies, it'll just blow them off. Okay, that tall nut is not in good shape. Though, speaking of tall nuts, I really should have had them up here. Oh, crap, what the- oh, oh, okay, the fog's just rolling in, but... Okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> That's called thinking on your feet. It's also called not planning well, thus necessitating the thinking on one's feet. And I need more repeaters. Okay, as soon as I can plant a lily pad, I can get the last walnut that I need. Oh, you again. All right. Now I hope they won't catch me with my pants down. I think I have everything I need here. All right, only one of the zombies got behind my walnut in this row, or my tall nut. Okay, this should be enough. And it's a taco. That's a good question. What am I going to do with the taco? Okay. Gee. Why did you give me so much money for a taco? That's what I thought. Alright, now he has new stuff. See, there is a fume shroom, which is an upgrade, or excuse me, a gloom shroom, which is an upgrade to a fume shroom. Uh, They have a one square range, but can fire in any direction, and like fume shrooms, they can get through screen doors. Uh, they also, I think, have just, they just do a lot of damage. Um, okay, this is a good one. Um, these, these things are so good, they're almost broken. They, they shoot, um... They shoot projectiles that can hit a zombie in any lane. They can go in front of or behind the cattail, and they can hit. Uh, they can hit the uh, balloon zombies. I'm gonna get this one because, yeah. Even though it's gonna make it take longer until I get this one, because this one is very very good. Okay, it's World Four Five. So that means it's time for a special level. And I am apparently Harvey number two. Okay, this is Vase Breaker. You will see a lot more of this later on. Um, some of these vases have plants, others have zombies. 
your goal is to break all of the vases and destroy all of the zombies that are inside. Usually there is no way to tell what's inside a vase. There are a couple of exceptions to that rule, but none that are relevant here. None that is relevant here. Uh, it's a good idea to have a squash in every row if you can. Except, of course, the ones where there are no more vases left, because no more vases means no more zombies. Since all of the zombies are in vases. So yeah, this is my basic scheme of defending in these vase breaker stages. <laughs> I don't want more vases, they have zombies in them. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, th these green ones, they always have plants in them, so you can break them safely. The thing about breaking a vase with a plant in it is that the the seed packet will only stick around for so long. If you don't pick it up and plant it somewhere, it'll be gone and you can't get it back. So I like to save these for emergencies. There are some people who like to break them first. Um, and I can see the value in that strategy, but I've played enough of these levels that I like to... Like I said, I like to save them for emergencies. Now note that just because there are these ones that are guaranteed to have plants in them does not mean that the other ones will not have plants in them. Some of them still do. Uh, and it's good to it's good to plant the the plants in the lanes that have the most brown vases left. Because if you plant a plant where there are only green vases left, or where there are no vases left, that doesn't really make sense. Okay, I was hoping that wasn't a powerful zombie in there. <laughs> yeah, you see, there's no way I can lose now, because there's a squash in each. Oh, and I still have these two left. Oh, I can just plant these anywhere. Just have to wait for him to get the squash. Which we should soon. It'd be faster if I dug this guy up, but not worth it. Okay, one more stage, or mini stage. Now they, once again, they're all in the same row, all the green ones. That's not very useful. Although I guess it doesn't matter that much. You see this hypnosis room. I would have preferred, I would have preferred that it came out later when I knew where I should put it. Because I don't want a regular zombie eating a hypnosis room. I want to save that for like a football zombie. But since you don't know what's in the base is good or bad, you just have to take what comes. Okay, I'm breaking this because I need more firepower against this dude. You get a music box zombie, then all of the vases around it will break automatically, whether you're ready or not. This is bad. Alright, I'm gonna lose a couple long nodes. Of course, I'm getting all the plants I want at the wrong time, after two of my lawn mowers are already gone. Here is a split pea. In front, it does the same thing as a pea shooter. Uh, however, it will also attack zombies to its left, and, and when it does that, it functions as a repeater. It can do both things at once. Um, as you might guess from the way it looks. So I'm gonna do one more level, that should bring me to around 40 minutes. Why would you want to split pee? Because of these dirt bags. I hate these guys.
they dig under your plants, and then they come out on the other side and just eat your plants from left to right. They will not enter your house unless for some reason they can't go to the right. Um, and that may happen in some cases if you use certain defenses against them. They're, I think they have 15 HP, so they're a bit tougher than a regular zombie, but not that much. Uh, so, let's see, I'll demonstrate. No, I don't have enough slots. Hmm. They don't want to go without scaredy shrooms. They're my bridge between the puff shrooms and the bigger guns. Guess I'll use a split pea instead of a repeater. You know, maybe I can demonstrate these. Okay, no balloon zombies, so... Oh, well, these would take care of them anyway. Alright, I'm going without repeaters. I hope I won't regret that decision. Okay, still only four squares worth of fog per row. Alright, so I hope this shorter recording session will be at least my temporary solution to audio desync. And if there is audio desync, hopefully there will be less of it. You have to plant... So all of the plants that you buy from Crazy Dave, like, you can't just plant them at first. Each of them has to be planted on something else. In the case of a cattail, it's a lily pad. Is that puff shrimp just gonna get... No, okay, good. So these really cost 250. The 225 for that plus the 25 for the lily pad. Also, all of the plants that Crazy Dave gives you recharge slowly. I don't know if they all recharge at the same rate, but none of them is a fast recharger. They're like sort of the luxury plants. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure that all of them recharge slowly, but certainly all the ones I use do. There's one that I never really use. Because it's not really for the purpose of defense, and I don't really need the thing that it does do. Alright. Yeah, I probably should start planting these. Probably should have planted those sooner. I think I can get this good. Money, money, money. Alright, soon it will be time to plant a cattail. Since my sun production is getting good. Oh, cool. Puzzles unlocked. I guess that will be a good way to start next session. Okay, now I'm going to plant a cattail. So they fire at about the same rate as repeaters, but they can attack any lane. Oh crap, a digger zombie. Alright, so now it's time for a split pea. Split pea will proceed to attack the digger zombie as soon as it emerges. And it ate my sun tree. Wonderful. Of course, when a sun shroom gets eaten, the new sun shroom has to grow up. So it won't give you full sun right at first. Digger zombies, as you might have guessed, cannot go in water lanes. So that's one good thing. Alright, time for another cat. 
these guys are lifesavers, really. Like I said, they're almost broken. I guess the thing that makes them not quite that broken is just that they they aren't that strong. They don't do that much damage. Okay, there will be balloon zombies, but I can deal with them because of the mighty cattails. Okay, here's another digger. Uh, I think I'm ready for it this time. Well, I was ready last time. I just ate one of my plants. Crap, crap. No, don't eat the cattail. I'm too late. Oh, wait, I'm not too late. And the cattails have a knack for attacking precisely the lanes that need to be attacked. Ah, speaking of plants that can attack in lots of different rows, here's a star fruit. It shoots stars, which do the same damage as peas. Uh, just stretch it there. It shoots, shoots the stars at 45 degree angles in each direction, like each diagonal right direction. It also shoots straight up and straight down and to the left. Um, you guys will see what it does next session. But for now, Thinker2112, over and out. Bye.